Hi, thank you for your question. So the reason I don't show my son on here anymore um, is because I started like, you know, reading more about, um, you know, kids whose parents like uh, kind of put them in the public eye for like extensive periods, how it affected them. And I just came to the conclusion that I don't feel like um, he's able to really consent to it right now. Honestly, I feel like there's... Um, like extremists on both uh, ends of the situation. Like you have people who um, make others their sole online persona, whether that be, you know, their kids or um, if they have a loved one with a disability um, or their marriage, you know, stuff like that, which in my opinion is never a good idea because then, you know, if you're relying on somebody else, like you're not just it's not just an exploitation issue, but what are you like? What are you gonna do when when you don't show them anymore? Like, what are you gonna do if that person you know uh, moves away? What are you gonna do if the marriage ends? Like, you know, um, I feel like even when I did show my son, I showed like all facets of our lives, like farming, you know, um, education about being trans, um, you know, um, oh my gosh, cooking. Like, there's so you know so many different levels. So obviously, I don't think that it's healthy to make your entire page about somebody else, especially when that person can't consent to it. And a big part of my page was that because I shared a lot of videos with my son, um, you know, as far as people, you know, being like, like I seen one comment that uh, somebody wrote about me on Reddit that was like, I don't support anybody that exploits their child. Um, if you think five cents, I mean, <laughs> like I make on like videos or something is, I mean, hey, I'll retire with it, I guess. No, but I agree. Like, you know, I, I do think there's a rational, um, you know, obviously like children can't consent to being online and that's why I no longer show my son's face. However, there is a whole other irrational side, in my opinion, where people are like, you should never even speak about your kids. You should never even talk about them at all. You should not even, I mean, they don't, they can't consent to anything. You should not say anything. And in my opinion, this is ridiculous. My son is such a huge part of my life. Like, I'm, I'm literally, like, we're both his caregivers. Like, um, I mean, I, there's been times where we've had, like, you know, four or five appointments in one freaking day. Like, I mean, this is our lives. And to share my life with you, I can't do that without sharing, you know, parts of parenting. I, I just, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. Oh, and I don't mean this towards you. I'm sorry. I'm just speaking on it in general. And although I do make the conscious decision now, like, not to put my son online because I, I do believe it's a consent issue, I really actually don't regret uh, doing it when I did. And the reason is, is because my intent when it came to um, doing videos with my son, like, um, talking about, you know, um, I don't know, like, funny stories about him and, you know, stuff, uh, you know, with his autism and stuff like that, like, uh, there's different therapies we've had to navigate, um, different, you know, just different things he's gone through. Um, I truly, I don't believe, I was gonna say I truly believe, I know that that has spread so much awareness, and that includes locally. Uh, my son in school, everybody is phenomenal with him, and of course, uh, most of that is due to his amazing personality. He's so funny, and he's so awesome to be around, um, but I do believe that me showing him, you know, because there were times when he would stim on camera, which, you know, um, his stims are, you know, not just flapping his arms. That's one, you know, obviously you see and hear about a lot, um, but also he might, like, grab my head and, like, like go like that or he might grab his own head or he might you know there's ones that other people might see if they haven't seen those things before and they might even be a little startled um but seeing my son on camera and how like wholesome he is and how funny he is and seeing that like hey it's just a part of who he is it's how he self-regulates and he's 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 an awesome dude i really feel like spreading that awareness has um you know, helped him a little bit integrate into the local community and spread awareness, not just locally, but nationally. Like I, I think, I think it did a lot of good. My son is actually not happy with the fact that I won't show him in videos anymore. Uh, making videos is something that we had a fun time doing. He especially loved doing cooking videos with me. Um, so he gets very upset. Um, as <laughs> one time I was on live stream, I did a video on it. I have a screenshot and he, he was mad. I wouldn't let him join the live. And so he sent me a text that called me a long head. <laughs> it literally just says long head. The top. <laughs> But I think, like, a more appropriate way to go about him, um, 
sharing his creativity and being a part of the family dynamic online is when he gets older. And I feel like, you know, it's at an age where obviously supervised um, that he can, you know, post videos and stuff because he loves recording and editing and everything. I always joke that he's going to edit my video. Well, he already does. But, you know, when he's at an age where he understands more about the consequences of being online and, uh, you know, whatever, um, I feel like it's a better idea to let him have his own account supervised. Um, but that way, like, if any monetization or anything like that happens, it's on, you know, it's his content, his terms, his money, you know what I mean? But yeah, like I said, I think there's extremes on both sides of this issue. I think, um, you know, the people who make their entire online presence surrounding someone that is not themselves that's obviously not healthy and not stable not a good idea in in terms of stability i mean like it's not it's not a stable route of success or anything um and also you know on the other hand the people that are like don't even mention your children that's pretty extreme um so i just am trying to take the healthy middle road of you know I recognize how this could be a potential issue in the future. I see how there's consent concerns, um, but my son is so important to me, and he's a huge part of me, so I'm still going to talk about him because he's a huge part of my life.